We have another 58 Hometowns visit coming up today. This time, our Nicole Coglin is heading out to Hales Corners. And joining us this morning ahead of Nicole's visit to tell us more about the community is Ellen Hayward from Friends of Burner Botanical Gardens. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning. Delighted to be here. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us, why is the garden such a special place to visit? Uh, it's just a spectacular retreat. It was designed for that very purpose, to draw city dwellers and all community members out to a place for a life balance, um, engaging all the senses year round. Every season is fantastic at Burner. The designer of the gardens was Alfred Burner over 80 years ago, so it's also um, a historic site. And he was a true visionary because he wanted this place, this retreat, this escape paradise outdoors in our natural environment to be there for future generations. And as we see, it survived all these years. Uh, the Friends of Burner are charged with the responsibility of helping that happen, making sure we preserve the gardens for generations to come, just as Al wanted. Um, members of his family, descendants, um, are still actively engaged in the gardens and in support of the gardens through the Friends of Burner. We do many, many activities and events all year long to get people outside moving, participating, engaged, um, and just enjoying nature. Um, it's a spectacular place. And um, one of our responsibilities is new projects. And we have a number of uh, items through the years that stand out. One is the Education and Visitor Center, which opened in 03. That was uh, um, an initiative led by the Friends with Milwaukee County. Um, <clears throat> Another is the lighting of the gardens so that people can enjoy the very mystical aspects of the gardens in the evening. Most recently, uh, Children's Garden is coming to Burner, and that garden will be a very unique feature at Burner and in Southeast Wisconsin. And it's uh, the result of a donor relationship between the friends and a member of the community who wanted to remember someone in a very special way. Um, his late wife, who passed away in uh, 2019, uh, was a teacher, loved children, enjoyed Burner, and he selected Burner to remember her, asking the friends if we had a dream, what would we like to see added to Burner? And the answer was a children's garden. So it's been a while coming. COVID delayed things a little bit, but the garden will open this summer. It's about two acres and um, it's open to everyone. Um, FBBG or Friends membership gets you into the garden, or there is a daily admission fee if you prefer to do that. Uh, I will say that FBBG memberships are good all over the country in over 300 gardens, so that's often an incentive to become a member as well as um, access anytime you want to beautiful burner. Ellen, that's a great part of our community, a great part of Hale's Corners, and there are wonderful events <laughs> all throughout the year. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit about it with us this morning, Ellen. Thank you very much. Up is at Burner Botanical Gardens, where there's plenty of natural beauty to see, especially this time of year. Hi there, Nicole. To see and to smell, the lilac bushes are in bloom over here, so it's amazing here, Mike. And Shirley Walzak joining us from Burner Botanical. Thank you for letting us stop by. Yeah, welcome. We are at the, this is on the shrub mall? We're in the shrub mall, okay. which is kind of our showpiece this week, because it has all our tree peonies and our intermediate iris and... It's just gorgeous right now. Beautiful. Like you said, and you were saying earlier that you really have to come every week of the summer because it keeps changing. It does. And starting in spring, like we had the tulips, now we're going into the tree peonies, mm -hmm. which is one of the larger collections in the country. Um, and the intermediaries. And next week, the herbaceous peonies will be blooming and the perennial mall. And after that, the rose garden starts yeah. in. It's always something. The flowers and then always something entertainment wise things. You have exciting things happening this summer here. We do. We have a few exciting things. Yeah. What concerts are Thursday evening concerts start on June 23rd okay. and go till the end of August. We have an exciting thing opening at the end of June, which yeah. is the children's garden, yeah. which is will be such a wonderful addition to the gardens and it'll be it's beautiful. It's coming, all coming together, so I'm excited that everybody will come out and see it. Okay. And then we have China Lights coming back after a two-year hiatus, so yeah. that's coming back in September. Great news. Yeah. Always things to see here at Burner Botanicals. Shirley, thanks for showing us around today. We squeezed it in before the rain, so it's perfect. Beautiful day out there. We need here. the rain, too. Yeah, we need that, too. You're right. Good point. All right, we'll send it back to you in the studio. <laughs> A CBS 58 hometown stop brings us to the community of Hales Corners. Our crew has been out there all day checking out the sights and sounds. And CBS 58's Nicole Coughlin is reporting live from none other than the Hale House. Hi, Nicole. 
Hey Amanda, yeah, the Hale House. All all day today in town, we've been like, we've been told they've got great food, they've got great food. So I'm excited to meet Jeremy, one of the owners. Thank you for letting us stop by. Thanks for being here. Um, we're excited to be here, and I understand you just had an anniversary. We did. We just celebrated our seven-year anniversary about two weeks ago. Okay. So I've been lucky enough to call Hale's Corners home for seven years. Yeah, tell me a little bit about this place. Uh, well, it was a Chinese restaurant um, that we took over in 2015. Okay. And uh, we remodeled it and kind of made it our own. Yeah, and people keep coming back. And I love you guys have some new menu items, and you call this like your greatest hits? The greatest hits, yes. Okay. It's uh, a collection of some of our specials that have sold the best over the last year or so. Okay. So we put them on the menu, and people are um, excited to, they've been for the last week or so, yeah. been coming out to try it. And these are some of them? What are we looking at? Uh, here we have our fried cheese curds. It's a queso blanco. Uh, the unique thing about these is there's no breading. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, no breading. Just so the straight free, cheese. Okay. Straight cheese. <laughs> that's our Chipotle ranch dipping sauce. Here we have our Caribbean uh, jerk chicken sa uh, awesome. salad with jerk chicken, mandarin oranges, avocado, roasted corn. Wow. Reuben rolls. All our corned beef is made in-house. Oh, wow. Very really? fresh. Yep. Okay. And then our fried pickle burger with our house chips with tempura battered fried pickles on top. That looks amazing. So the food, I told you, we've been told all over town how great the food is here. We, uh, we've got a great following. We get a lot of people that keep coming back because yeah. the food's so good and we run specials all the time every week. Right. Friday fish specials, weekend brunch specials. So it uh, keeps people coming back. What do you want people to know about Hale's Corner? Since this community has embraced you. You know, uh, I think our name says it all, Hale House. Uh, we really want to be part of the community when we opened up and the community's embraced us. We try to do as much as we can with the community, whether it's helping the schools, local charities, fundraisers that are going on. Um, and the great thing about Hales Corners is the village is only 8,000 people. Right. But there are so many great businesses in Hales Corners that we attract people from all over. Yeah. And um, so there's people coming from Oak Creek, Franklin, Muskego, West yeah. Dallas, Greenfield that all come through Hales Corners and um, it's just it's just a great community to be part of. The Hale House. Come check them out regardless of where you're coming from. Thank you. Thank Again, you very Congratulations much. on your first seven years. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, Nicole, hopefully you'll bring us some more of that food back this week, too, from Hale's Corners. <laughs> The CBS 58 hometown team is visiting the Milwaukee County community of Hales Corners. Yeah, we're checking out everything it has to offer, including a wine and cocktail bar where fun is actually an art form. Nicole Coglin oh, joins us live with more details. <laughs> Nicole. Charm we found the party at Charm Beyond's Wine Bar and Arts, but this is the most quiet you guys have been. <laughs> Michelle's the owner. Thank you for having Absolutely. us. Uh, tell us about this place because it's what it sounds like. It's a bar and you can do a little art too. Yep. That's exactly what we do. Yeah. And on Fridays we have live music. We have an outdoor seating area now. It'll be called the Sandbar for more fun outside. I love it. And that's every Friday is the live every music. Every Friday. Yep. Okay. Any other day of the week you can come and paint and sip or drink. Yeah. Whatever uh, that's you want. Fantastic. And so we're having some samples. Yeah. A little bit of both. And these are, do you do classes or all kinds of different types, right? We do 13 different kinds of our classes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that again is the option here. Do you need it by appointment or do you have open nights as um, well? We have open nights. They okay. can just walk in and choose their projects right on the spot. And you guys just celebrated an anniversary. You've been here? Five years this month. Five years. Again, in Hale corners and we have to show because you said the drinks what is this one called this one's called the rubber drunkie that's this adorable our, it's from our brand new summer drink menu that we just put out last week <laughs> brand new summer menu again and then again a summer music on fridays where's the other can we show this big one what's the big one down here oh and then can we see what's this one bowls here that's the, look at with a ducky ball in there you got a ducky you gotta have a ducky you got margarita, <laughs> mango margarita why not all right i love it so whether you're here to do a little bit of art or maybe have a cocktail or enjoy some live music on Fridays. Again, the patio brand new for you guys, right? Brand new sandbar out there. Sandbar out there. Charmbiance. Check them out. What's your address so people can stop by? 11003 West Forest Home Avenue. There you go. Hales Corners. Shout out to Hales Corners. <laughs> Well, back in the 1800s, Hales Corners was a stop on the plank road between Milwaukee and Janesville. Times have changed. Yeah, if they could see it now, the founders might not even recognize this growing village. Nicole Coglin takes us to Hales Corners, the next stop on the CBS 58 Hometowns Tour.
58 Hometowns Tour takes us to Hales Corners, and there's a lot of history here in this village of just three square miles. Back in the day, the Bosch Hotel, one of three big hotels in this area that became very popular with farmers headed in and out of Milwaukee. The farmers used to come into Hales Corners and they would stay overnight because it was a pretty big journey. All three hotels had a place to put up their horses because they came with horses and wagons. And then they would go the next day into Milwaukee and sell their goods, then come back again that evening, stay again overnight. It was a pretty lively town in its day. Think of the corners as a great big square divided into four quarters. Uh, three of those four quarters were purchased by three different members of the Hale family. Because they had three of the uh, four quarters of property, people just started calling this Hale's Corner. Welcome to Sherpers. This is Hale's Corners. We've been here for since the 50s. This is such a, a fun place. Like uh, you have so much mixture of the city as well as like green. You have so many great park spaces. Uh, there's great uh, long-standing businesses uh, like us, but Clifford's, A&W, Bosch, uh, and, but also new places like Hale House and uh, Nutriblend. Like there's places popping up, but there's long-standing businesses that are staying strong here. Welcome to Bernard Botanical Gardens. It's a spectacular spring day. And I always tell people to come every week because it changes so much. Like a couple weeks ago, we had the tulips in bloom and the crab apples were absolutely spectacular this year. But now we're going into the tree peonies, which is one of the largest collections in the country. If you're looking to plan a trip to Hale's Corners, good news, for the first time in two years, the China Lights will be back here at Burner Botanical Gardens September 16th through October 30th this year. For 58 hometowns, that's a wrap from Hale's Corners.